What's an aimbot? All right, guys, finally, I've decided to do it. I'm going to analyze the gameplay, okay? Not like Stellosa, not like him. I'm going to do it better because I am a Widow main. So I can really tell what I, where I went wrong, what I did right, and I'm going to do it on my own gameplay. If you guys like this video, maybe I'll do some of your gameplays. I'd like to do that. I think that would be interesting to see. Let me know if this is interesting to you, if this is something you want to see. I've been asked by a ton of people to do it, but I want, I want like the main consensus, you know what I mean? So let me know. If you want to see more I'll do it if you don't well I won't <laughs> so let's start right now Widowmaker I just switched I wasn't playing her, playing her in the first point right now I need to say that I'm going against the number one Sombra in this game at the time also ironically number seven Farah. he's the Farah on the other team Zilti he's also the the number two Sombra which is kind of it's kind of funny number one and two but so far you can see it's really good I killed the Pharah right there, that was beauty. Shots not super good right here, but everything's going good. I'm on the high ground. <clears throat> I'm on the high ground. And everything everything's going good. So we, we got the Pharah first, prioritizing targets. We know that I am a hard counter to Pharah. There's nobody else on my team that can kill the Pharah. So we want to prioritize the Pharah. That was great. Switching things up. Hop down here. You can tell I have my radar up, right? So I know where to go. And just killed a few enemies. Now... We know that was basically a team fight, a team kill right there, right? So I'm going back in the high ground and I'm watching the spawn. I'm expecting there to be a Pharah, but I see right here, Pharah switched. I know that Pharah switched right there, so now I'm coming back. Basically, when I was on the top left there, I could expect the Pharah to just jump up right at me and I was going to hook to this other side. Now that they don't have a Pharah, I'm back over here. It's just a different position to be in, because, I mean, the only thing that can kill me on their team is the Sombra, as you can see that just happened now the Sombra gave me a lot of issues in this game which is kind of interesting to go over Sombra she's not a really hard counter to Widow but played by somebody of this caliber it's a whole different ball game Sombra is ridiculous to play against sneak up right behind you and she can one clip you if, if you're caught off guard and that's what just happened there so now what I'm doing I know that the payload is on the left I know that there's a mega on the right now, typically a good Sombra would hack that Mega. This Sombra, it, it, he plays different. Now, this is this is the hard part, is getting used to how this Sombra in particular is playing. So I'm uncontested over here. This is perfect. Uncontested, but I'm expecting that Sombra to go to that Mega on the right. And this is what I'm waiting for now. So I know that we have four kills right here. We have four kills. The Sombra hasn't died though. There's the Tracer going back to the spawn. I know the Sombra is still alive. I'm expecting the Sombra to get come up behind me. So, you, I got the volume muted, I'm not saying anything, but in my head, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the Sombra is going to be behind me at some point, I'm ready to turn. That's what I'm doing, but at the same time, I'm trying to be as useful to the team as possible. So, as you see there, the Sombra came behind me, I noped out. Didn't give her the chance to kill me, because I was expecting her to show up. Now, I'm back in the fight, <clears throat> safe on the payload, trying to kill stuff. I, I shot that Tracer, that was, that was beauty. Now, here comes some alts. This is, this is a problem now. Now here's that Sombra again, just being a pain in the arse behind everybody. If I would have hit that shot, that would have been beauty, but <clears throat> I didn't. Okay, now was that a hack or an EMP? I didn't catch that actually. Basically here, this is just kind of an awful spot for me. I should I should have been on the high ground way long before that because like I said, the only thing on their team that can get up there to kill me quick is that Sombra. Being low like that, that Sombra can get up there get up behind me way faster than if I'm up here. So here the diva just rushed me. I noped out. I know that the diva is going to try to come for me. This is pretty much a losing fight right now. I'm just trying to be as useful as possible. Wasn't that useful. So this is where playing Widowmaker comes in. It's like you got to know when to switch, right? You got to know when to switch. So right now they have three counters to Widow. Really, they have three. They have the Trace of the Sombra and they have the diva. The D.Va hasn't been giving me too much issues, the Sombra has been giving me issues, the Tracer has done really nothing to me, so I keep going, because I know that if the if the D.Va or the Sombra is down, this is pretty much free reign for me. So once again, the Sombra kills me from the right. Now I'm starting, this is where I realize how to play against the Sombra, okay? So the Sombra is actually picking farther health packs away and coming in Viz 
from really far away. So what a lot of people would expect is the mega on the left of my crosshair right now, the mega there, to be hacked or the close little health pack just to the right of that door. Now you'll see again that the Sombra keeps coming in through that right entrance. Now, as you can tell, I'm not hit I'm hitting shots, but these aren't these aren't game changing shots. Widowmaker is basically a game changer. And I'm not getting those kills. So Sombra came back again on the right, she noped out. I whiffed the hook. <laughs> but this is okay, so you're gonna you're gonna see it coming up. Like I said, this is this is mainly about the Sombra, because I'm hard counter to this Sombra. This, this Sombra is just outrageously good. Just giving me a hard time. To uh, you guys, it might not seem like he's doing anything special, but he really is. Somber never really gives me a hard time. So going in right now, I know that the Somber is dead. I saw the McCree kill him. This is a big thing you want to look for too. You want to pay attention to the kill feed. If you have your kill feed turned off, turn your kill feed on because it, it helps enormously. So I put my Venom Mine on that right door. This is what I did. I did this on purpose because that Sombra keeps coming from that right door. So there it is. Triggered. I know the, I know the Sombra's there. She's visible. Teleports away. It's perfect. Basically useless. The thing that kind of sucks is that I'm basically giving her EMP right now. And it's not, not really beneficial to the team. Unless I actually shoot her in the head, it's not beneficial to the team. So I have my eyes now, I'm not worried about the Sombra whatsoever, all I'm trying to do is get shots on the point to help out the team, because I really haven't gotten a pick. I've just been getting body shots on people, and that's basically all that's been going down. That was very inconvenient that that Earth Shatter happened. So now I'm like, alright, I'm going to switch off, because this is just getting ridiculous. I tried to just stall until overtime. Unfortunately I got res, or fortunately, whatever, but we got that res off. Now I'm just trying to get shots on people. It was kind of nice that the Sombra died at the beginning. Now, <clears throat> this is really hard. This is kind of another mess up on my part. I should have been shooting at the Ana before shooting at that Nano Boosted Diva. But luckily it was in overtime, so it just kind of... It worked out, right? They never ended up getting the car the whole way, and it worked out. Uh, I didn't play Widow on the attack, so I'm going to cut that part out, but... If you guys want me to do full games, I am very open to do that. This is just like a test to see what you guys think. Maybe I'll go into more detail. I can draw some pictures on the screen. I can pause the videos at certain points and go over key moments in the games. Let me know. Like I said, this is the first time doing this. This is just this was just a trial. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope even I hope you got a little bit of knowledge out of that. I hope it helped a little bit. If it did, I did my part, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.